Hi and welcome to another episode of Rob's Triathlon Tips for Beginners. It's been quite a long time since I uh, released a video on YouTube and I think it, I thought it was appropriate that my first video in a while be about the post-race blues. So in July of 2022 I did um, Ironman Lake Placid. I achieved that huge goal that I've been working towards for years and years, uh, I think about 12 years of doing triathlons. And I definitely got the post-race blues. I've had the post-race blues, I think, twice. The first time was after doing my first half Ironman, Ironman 70.3 Muskoka. And the second time being after Lake Placid. And both times were really, you know, achieving big goals doing a big race compared to what I had done before and both times it, it was the same it was like the the sense of achievement wore off very quickly after the race I mean the next day it felt as though I hadn't really accomplished anything and I had this sort of sense of disappointment in how well I performed and this feeling of like, now what? <laughs> so if you're just starting triathlons, um, it's important to understand that that can happen to you. And, um, and, and what you can do to sort of get through that. I mean, number one, there is no shame in just taking a break from exercising. Take a month off. Just hang out with your family and your friends and just take it easy. You do not need to just constantly be registered for a race and just try to ride this emotional roller coaster all the time. I would not do that unless you're a professional athlete. <laughs> then do that. But just as an age grouper, I would not do that. Um, and if you live in a northern climate like I do in Canada, uh, there's a limited time frame where you can do races anyway. So you're going to do a race in July or August and then it's the fall there's no more races the winter comes I guess you could do some kind of indoor aquathlon or something um, but yeah you, you'll struggle to find races that kind of get you excited to keep training uh, so my advice is take a break just sort of reground yourself and then my advice would be to just to just do any kind of fitness. I'd take a break from having to do so many run, bike, and swim sessions in a week and follow a plan and all that pressure and worry about your watts on the bike and all this kind of stuff. Just just relax about that. I would I would suggest that you just just uh, do things that are fun. Uh, register for a, I don't know, a rec volleyball league. Do some cross-country skiing. Do some yoga, weight training, uh, floor hockey, basketball. Who cares? Just do something fun. Take the pressure off of like being on a plan, on improving constantly in your triathlon performance. And then, you know, from my experience... I start to, my attitude starts to pick up towards triathlons when I register for uh, a new race. So uh, there's a calendar that's posted now, finally, where I live in the province of Alberta and Canada for races to register for this year, 2023. And I've gone through it and I've picked a, a, a sprint race in a small town with an indoor swim in a pool <laughs> so, and that's my strategy to get back to to serve that love for triathlon is to just do a fun triathlon no open water swim no stress just do a sprint and that may be all i do this year or i may want to do um a sprint after that that involves a lake swim an open water swim i don't know uh, this 
this has sort of been my my approach to to getting through the the post race blues, and uh, those are my suggestions to how you can deal with that if you're feeling like that. It's it's very common, and um, yeah, just if that advice was helpful to you, then uh, please give this video a like. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel and share it with uh, people who may benefit from it. Thanks.